my son was just gifted $200, and he asked me if he could spend 100 of it on Pokemon Go. This is a funny position for me because $100 over a very long period of time could grow a lot. Um, but, you know, the immediacy of having fun in that game that we always play and having uh, these new things that could be unlocked um, is a trade-off, right? Do we spend that $100 now or do we invest that $100 and what could it become? All right. My son's a teenager and we uh, enjoy the game. Uh, we play it just about every day uh, together. Um, but I wanted to model what that $100 would have become if we had it, uh, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And what's the purchasing power that one could expect uh, when you invest that $100 over a long period of time? So we're going to use the Lifetime Investment Calculator, right? You can access that by going to paulmerriman.com, going to Best Advice, and then Lifetime Investment Calculator. Uh, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see the calculator. Always recommend that you choose the full screen mode. All right, uh, my son's a teenager, but for round numbers sake, I'm going to um, say that he's 10 years old, right? I'm going to get rid of some of the noise here and just show 100% stock portfolio. And the starting value is going to be $100, right? Because that's what he would be spending or would have spent. And they're going to be no contributions. So I'm changing the contribution amount to $0. Now let's say that this $100 was invested um, in 1970. And we want to see what the value of the investment count would be after 10 years. So after 10 years, if the first, you know, following the sequence of returns from 1970, uh, you could see that that $100 in the investment account, it would be $176 in 1979. And we can loop through these years and see what it, what it would, would have done with different sequences of returns. So I'm gonna loop through to 1980 as the beginning year. And so for 10 years, um, and it would have been $500 over a 10 year period. So that would be the, the value that would be in the investment account. Um, but what about purchasing power? So I'm gonna shift from nominal to real. That $100 of purchasing power right now, um, let's say it was 1980, would have bought the same amount of stuff 10 years later um, for $300 that you could, that you could have bought today. So just by waiting 10 years, you triple the ability, or I guess the, the number of things or the amount of things that you could buy uh, today. So that $100 today in one app could buy, t could buy three times that amount in 10 years if we started in 1980. And the beauty of the calculator here is you can continue to loop through, right? So let's just uh, look at each decade. Let's see. Um, 1990, right? What the what the total value would be? 531. Uh, let's say we started in the year 2010, right? And that would only be 356. So you can actually see how the return influences uh, the value at the end of those 10 years. The beauty of being so young is that you actually have a really long time horizon. So instead of a 10-year duration, right? What would it buy? Let's say you've got a 10-year-old, um, and they're going to retire at age 60, right? Let's see over a 50 year duration, what that would become, right? And uh, you can see if, if I start the first sequence year at the year 2010, once it gets to 2023, it loops back to 1970, right? So um, of course, none of these numbers in the future are real. Uh, this, we're just looping through the, the past sequence of returns. So I'm gonna actually go back to 1970, okay? And over that 50 year period, that $100 would be worth $15,000 in the investment account over 50 years. And the purchasing power uh, based on year one would be $2,000, right? So that $100 over 50 years would, would be able to buy $2,000 worth of stuff. Um, and so that's, for me, you know, such, there's such large numbers. Um, it's incredible to see how this little hundred dollars of value could actually have such an outsized impact uh, as as these children grow into retirement age. 
I'm going to flip back to nominal because I always like to look at the value in the investment account. And you can, again, loop through the years. So like, let's say it was, uh, the starting year was 1974, right? We have no idea what's going to happen in the future, uh, but that $100 turns into $15,000 or $19,000 um, by 2023 over that 50 year period. And so you can loop through and, and see and, and show the value and, and really dive down and ask, you know, what's it worth to you? Is this something that you want to purchase or do you want to kind of invest it and um, set yourself up in the future? to have a lot more money. An interesting thing is how do you teach a child uh, that difference and patience, right? The immediate grat uh, gratification versus the long-term value. And how can I subsequently show every year how that $100 goes down, right? So you can see here in the first year, we put $100 in and the end of year balance was $74 because it went down. So it lost $26 or 26% of the value, right? Um, that's part of investing, but ultimately in the long run, uh, the numbers get very large. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for indulging in this, uh, this little experiment that I'm showing my son. Cheers.